Hi y'all, welcome back to Viv's Vibe. Today I am reviewing the book, The Happy Runner. Oh goodness, it's all glary. Ugh. Why you have to be all slick like that? On a scale of one to 10, one being burn it, and 10 being you absolutely must read, I'll give this book a seven. It is filled with mindset tricks, training tips, and a whole lot of personal anecdotes sprinkled in throughout the book. I will say if you're interested in this book as a training guide, you might be slightly disappointed and instead may have better luck with something like a field guide to ultra running. Though this book has an entire section on training, there is no training plan in here and it's more of an idea, which gets at their main point, which is to be a happy runner and not get too focused on certain goals, meeting certain numbers, and being super, super, super structured. They have a more carefree attitude and lots of stories from the people they coach to back that up. Megan and David did a phenomenal job of being themselves, which I think inspires the reader to embrace who they are as well. And the first section of this book is all about unconditional love. Love yourself, love yourself as a runner, and accept and embrace where you're at, no matter where you're at, throughout the whole running journey. For me, I thought, oh, a whole section of that, do we really need that? But I think it's really important for many runners to hear, especially those who don't think they need to hear that. That is a continuous theme throughout this book. In that section, they talk a little bit about mental illness, eating disorders, the power of kindness. This first section is also important in helping runners find their why and helping them extend their motivation from the short term to the long term. Instead of having a two to five year vision, extending that to a 10 to 15 year vision. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. It is a little airy-fairy, so just understand that that's what you're gonna get into. Another great common theme they have in this book is the analogy of puppy love and being a puppy. Their dog, Addie, is the inspiration for that analogy and they keep it consistent and it really helps to remember to not take things too seriously and really have fun with your running and be a happy runner. Okay, the second portion of this book is where the good stuff comes out. This section is more about the training tips. As you can see though, it's not half of the book, it's a little less than half. So like I said, if you're looking for a very specific training book, this probably isn't it. In this section, the training they talk about is a lot different than anything I've read before, which I really like. They reference a couple of specific training books that go more in depth, but for the most part, they stay on the surface level and don't get into the nitty gritty of things, but instead provide some principles that you as a runner can implement into your training cycle. One of the principles I think I'll be implementing into my training is principle three that they have, and it's called build strength from speed. It's their version of speed work, and they back that up with a lot of evidence from the people they have coached. They do a great job of explaining the mechanics of it, VO2 maxes, aerobic thresholds, and things like that that are more sciencey, but they keep it light, fresh, and funny, which is good because I can get bogged down by all that stuff. For me, it's like, I don't think I really care that much. I just want to run. Another interesting thing I found in the second section is not tailoring your training to a specific race. That concept is different from what I've heard and how I've trained in the past. However, they argue their concept well and encourage people to train with a larger vision than just one race at a time. I loved how Megan and David did such a good job of letting their character seep through the pages. You get to know who they are and who's writing this book and who's giving you these training tips. I'd recommend this to any and all runners for a good dose of happy, fresh training ideas and mindset tips. If you've read this book and have any additional comments, put those down below. We'd all be happy to read those and hear your feedback as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I post a new video every week and I will see y'all next week. Happy trails. That truck is so loud. Is that necessary, sir? Is that necessary?